perhaps the best performance from Subaru so far in terms of runs. In the beginning, it was a bit shaky because he was trying way too hard. But as he basically just, just he just crumbled, right? He collapsed due to the mental stress and realizing that I need to make this one count no matter what. What happened? Emilia lap pillow. Subaru with Emilia lap pillow buff, I think, could perhaps make this a generational run. I think that maybe if we just get rid of the villagers and that goddamn bald dog, we can figure out where the source of the curse is coming from. Then once we have that figured out, this should be home run. Let's begin today's reaction. Double day. Double day today, right? We got Rem and Ram, both hands. Bald. He's good with kids. Right? Victory! Any one of these kids could be the shaman as well. Just remember, any one of these kids, this kid, this kid, this kid, this snot, bro. Fuck it. Maybe it wasn't the ball dog. Maybe it was this kid's fucking snot, bro. Because this kid's snot was all over Subaru 2. Any of these could be the shaman. Oh, that's the shaman for sure. Hold the fuck up. Oh, wait, you just look like a shaman, Oji-san. What are you doing? <laughs> she was the shaman. She's the shaman, bro. The shaman just groped her ass, but I didn't see her, though. No, 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 no. I never saw this. Now, they could retcon it, right? But I never saw the Baba ass groping us before. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. That, that's crazy. Imagine a grandpa going up to a lolly and doing that shit. Saying, I feel so much younger now. That is insane. Shaman? Where's the dog, bro? You know what? Fuck it. The entire village is a shaman village. Maybe we're getting too tunnel vision and thinking there's only one person. What the fuck? We got the kids protecting us? Yeah, Rem, you are mean. Being gaslit now. Okay. What about Rem? What do you want? Rin Rin Rin. Did you like that? No, 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 no. Well, this isn't direct contact. Is this enough to cast the curse? I thought you'd have to touch, like, skin. But maybe the curse could be placed onto the butler's jacket. I don't know. Yeah. What? Okay. What's over there? <laughs> no, 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 no. She is the owner of the ball. Was she the one holding it before too? Dude, no, no, no. This dog is cursed. No, 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 no. It bit us. It bit us. This. This is the canon act that's happened every run, right? Every time the bite was confirmed. Here's my theories on what's going on. The first night, we, it was con confirmed that we went into the village with Rem or someone else and he got bit. It was mentioned the hand was taped up and I think he's died in his sleep due to the curse if this motherfucking thing is the shaman. Night two, we, uh, we got actually bit, right? But this time, we saw him going in there getting bit and there was no bandit. We could see a clear wound on the hand and then... The whole thing got activated, right? Then he started to feel a cold. Then Rem probably killed him. Third night. Third night was him getting out, right? In that iteration, we never, I don't, he never went in. He never went in and he goes out, obviously, to, and, and then he gets killed by Rem. But I guess the timing of the events, that, that's still one of the nights where he never got woozy, right? He never got sick. The next one, right? He was hiding in Betty's library. But instead of Subaru, who died, Rem did most likely do the curse because Rem went into the village by herself. Everything is consistent with this fucking dog. Now, the Baba grazing the ass, all that other shit, I never saw that happen. But this thing has been happening every single run. I judged the cult bald? Yes. You know what? I'm going to die on this hill, bro. Because this dog is bald, it's even more suspicious. Yep, you heard it right. I'm baldest. That's trade dog got rabies, man. Yeah, and you bald as fuck. 
There it is again. Another bite. Now? This, if this is the contact that causes the curse, what did Betty say? Once the curse has been activated, there's nothing you can do. But she can still prevent the curse. So is it dormant right now? I guess it's dormant. Then there's like another stuff of it getting activated. So we need to go to Betty now and dispel the curse if there's a curse. We can just go there and check to Betty. Hey, Betty, do I have a curse on me? If we do, boom, we know the information for the next run if this one fails. <laughs> Gender equality. <laughs> not very enthusiastic about that. Oh. Where are you going, bro? I'm seeing someone who's a hassle. To appear before in casual attire. Very generic of what's going on, very vague, but okay, he's going for a meeting. This never happened before, right? Because this is one of the first... Can, and even like us going into the village, we did a day early. This run is very optimized, and we are doing different events, and now different event... And, and like Roswell going out to meet someone is happening differently, right? Because I don't think this ever happened before. <laughs> yeah, who's the visitor? <laughs> Bad message? Alright, we're home alone tonight. No parents, no rules. Yes, sir, even if it costs her lives. Is that a flag? Uh oh. Yeah, this is a new route. Means we're doing something good. I don't know if he genuinely means that either, because he probably still suspects us. To Roswell, isn't, aren't we such a big liability that we're now we're leaving the fucking mansion and, you know, this suspicious spies around? I don't know, this feels like a fucking threat. Who knows? I just want to know where he's going. Of course he can fly. Can you teach me? Bro, what the? I, I, I know he's the strongest magician. It should be a very simple thing, but like, damn, you, you just fucking fly, huh? Shit. Like, like, you don't see Rudy fucking flying in Mushoku Tensei, you know, and he's a strong magician. You know, it's just like, this flight is... Damn. It is. Unfortunately, we can only shock. Yes. This timeline is going different course. Yes, we're making good progress. Now talk to Betty about the curse. Here we go, Beako. Check my hand, curse. Here we go. Yo, we're cursed right now, right? Yo, Subaru big brain this run. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's still not confirmation that it's the dog. It could be anyone, right? But of all the things that the anime has specifically shown me, the dog has been the most consistent one every single time, which just makes me believe that it's it's that right. The one. Can you prevent it from activating? Or is it already too late? この世で死ぬより怖いことなんてそうそうねえよ。死んだ方がマシとかそんな言葉で死ん。yeah, a lot of people do just casually say, man, I'd rather die than do this. But like, if you lived, you know, through Subaru in, in this anime, you probably would never say that shit. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, basically, Puck is the greatest incentive or motivator for Betty, so figure out a way to get Puck involved. Aww. Now, I wonder if Puck would actually be sad. I know that Subaru and Puck get along very well. That's what we see all the time. But, like, what if Puck never actually gave a fuck and just acted? Yeah, she probably would That's kind of fucked up. He's right, that logic is flawless. Because Amelia would be probably a little sad, and Puck would, you know, feel sad about that. Wow, manipulator right now. Nice. <laughs>
Silver tongue devil. Now, there's no seven deadly sins here at play. All I see is the word devil. It's Subaru, the devil incarnate. No, I don't think so. No, what? Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't cut ties with me. You're like my important teammate. Okay. And you're going to help me, right? Every time? Nice, Betty. This is a great run. Okay, now we're going to confirm, right? <laughs> if Betty reaches for Subaru's ass, then we know. If he goes for the fucking ham, bro, that, that's, that's easy. Go for the bite. Yeah. Low-key, I want Betty's hand goes towards the ass. That would be hilarious. Wait, what is he? He's the fake village? <laughs> Wait. Are you telling me that this senile boomer just, just doesn't remember shit? So he's like, he thinks that he's the village head and everyone goes along with it? Is that the lore? Why is he a fake village head? You don't need a decoy. So he's, he's just senile and he's role-playing as fake village and other people are like, you know what, this is kind of sad. Let's just say he is. That ball dog, dude. That ball dog, dude. I mean, that's pretty much confirmation that it was the fucking dog, right? No one else we saw touched him in that exact fucking spot. It has... Baldi. Baldi, bro. That's crazy! It's fucking... It's the actual dog? There's no... No, I... I, it's just a dog. Maybe, maybe it's someone transformed into a dog. I don't fucking know. Yo, is he about to go and kick the dog? <laughs> Wait, what is he about to do right now? <laughs> what is he about to do to the village right now? <laughs> We're gonna kill the kid. <laughs> yeah. Cursed everyone. Oh, did it? I didn't realize that it bit other people too. Oh, I, I thought that it wouldn't bite anyone other than just Subaru. So I guess that entire village is in danger right now too of dying from that weakness. Okay. Only one can come. To be honest, I still like Ram more than Rem right now, based on what I've seen from Ram. Her personality, the jokes are very funny to me. Let's take Ram. <laughs> Then fine, let him die. What else did he say? I forget. Superior twin. Superior twin Ram, bro. While Rem is all being, you know, sketched out and, and fucking challenging super. No, Ram says, let's go. Never mind. Classic Ram. To do everything and then defer it off to fucking Rem. Yes, yeah, you're right. So Rem will go with you. <laughs> Dude, her personality. How is she not your favorite girl here? She's so funny. Alright. I'll keep an eye on that. That. Don't know what that is. I don't know if you're talking about the suspicion that they have on Subaru, but that too. Oh, Amelia, in different drip again. Dude, have we seen this Amelia outfit before? I don't know. But, uh... No, they're not talking about protecting the fucking forbidden lolicon dojins in the library, bro. <laughs> Maybe they do need to protect that shit. I think that is... Talking about the suspicion placed on Subaru, bro. But dude, Emilia just keeps getting more new drip every episode. Yo, can we call Reinhardt? Reinhardt! Oh, I need your help, my hero! And he shows up. <laughs> I will show you the swordplay of my family. And he just nukes the fucking dog. Easy. むちゃも無理もしないでって言っても。あいや、俺もしたくないんだよ。それ全部。What?
I thought like she was giving him actual protection there. But it's just like a good luck thing, right? I mean, Super is already great with spirits. They're gonna probably help him no matter what. Alright. This is a great run so far, man. Like, everything has been perfect. And I wonder if a checkpoint has already been made due to the progress that we've made so far. Who really knows? But like, this run, it feels like this could be the winning run. We're going with Rem, and Ram will protect that. I don't know what that is. Oh, shit. You the dog made the moves? They're missing. Be careful now. Yeah, this is where the dog was from, beyond this little stable. Barrier? People can intrude? Which fiends? Maju, which fiends? I'm not sure if this is a specific something, but basically beasts, monsters, right? Maju? Maju. Creatures? Of the witch's creation. Witch of Envy? The Witch of Envy spawns monsters? Witch fiend? Witch fiend breeding ground? Okay. That's a lot of footprints. I thought the witch is sealed away from the dragon, the hero, and the sage a long time ago. But the witch fiends I still spawn? Like, I, 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 I just want to know the ecosystem, some sort of life cycle of how these things are created. Just like, you know, in, in, you know, in Tensura, like, the existence of dense magicules can spawn in the monsters. But witch fiends exist right now, even though Satella has been sealed away for how many years? And I don't know. No, I'm boss now. Oh. That's a good point. It said look over Amelia as well, right? Like us getting out of the mansion. Now it's only ramming Amelia in the mansion. Couldn't the witch's cult go for the mansion now? That's a good point. Yes? <laughs> Who cares about the kids, to be honest? I'm sorry. It's gonna sound monstrous from me right now. But like, let's think about what actually matters right now. Is it these innocent kids that we just met? Or is it Amelia? Are we simping here? Or are we trying to be good people? Guys, are we here to simp? Or are we here to be good people? <laughs> I'm a monster, man. <laughs> Don't let me play regression games like this, dude. The morally <laughs> incorrect, just cold decisions that I'd be making on a whim for the fucking memes, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, he cares about the kids. Who the fuck is Petra? She wants to make clothes in the capital? Who the fuck are you? Lucas probably ain't living to see 15. Who the fuck are these kids? Alright. Alright. Do you really? It's like him caring about Ramji and felt relationship when he was justifying why he needs to help, right? Like, maybe he is genuinely a, such a good person that he can empathize and relate to these kids and really feel like, you know, their motivations, dreams, and hopes, I want to protect that. Or is it simply, again, exactly his pride, right? Are you actually saying this for them? Or is this for you? Is this some sort of act of, like, you make it seem selfless, but this could be the most selfish pursuits about trying to look selfless. I don't know. Okay. He's scared. Hand shaking, he's scared, yet he's still saying this shit. Alright. Also, Rem can fight. Like, this monst this girl is a fucking monster, bro. So like, I, I think that with this bodyguard Rem around, we can probably do this. Okay. <laughs> I was actually traumatized by that. 
every time I hear the chains, I'm like, <laughs> he'll stop. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Shit. What you smelling? Alive? Can you smell witch fiends? There's kids on the field. Yo, they cooked. Curse? We need to take them to Betty. Yo, where Betty at? They all got bit. Sorry, what? What did she say? Rem, can't you undo it? I lack the skill for this. If only my sister... Ram can do it? I thought Rem is a really useful one. Ram can't do fucking anything. Petra. <laughs> Named Lolly, bro. Petra. Alright, I hope she's actually fucking important for the future. Because, like, if you're gonna drop these kids' names, like, they better be important. You act like you actually care about them. One of us is still in the. <gasps> There's still a kid captured? No, no. But that kid, the kid that brought the fucking dog, what an idiot. But that kid needs help too. She got the dead mom haircut, which is funny. Did he name the braided girl? That's one of the kids that he didn't even remember her name or something, right? He named pretty much like everyone here. Yeah. Petra, this girl who's gonna have like a fucking sibling. This kid who's gonna like Lucas, right? This is the, the crown, the brothers. Yeah, that girl was never named. <laughs> she already dead? Okay. <laughs> Instead of pride, we're going greedy this time. And again, I think that pride definitely is the focal point of the seven deadly sins for Subaru, but it doesn't mean that's the only thing that he obviously exhi exhibits, right? Every one of us exhibits many qualities as the seven deadly sins, right? Pride, lust, envy, greed, sloth, blah, 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 wrath, pride, everything, right? Every one of us has that. It just seems like... He is fixated on pride, but sometimes, you know, these other paths does seem to be there. Alright. Alright. Pick up my scent. Scent of the witch, right? Because he stinks like fuck. Yeah, let's talk about that again. Yes. Yeah, how much do you know about that shit, right? So like, if someone that you're suspicious of for thinking it's part of the witch's cult is now acknowledging that smell, that is more suspicious? Or would Rem... What would be more suspicious? Just not being aware of it or knowing it? Because we know because Rem mentioned to us in episode 7, but actually confronting her about the smell, okay. And like, he can obviously say indirectly that he's in regressing, right? He's, he's not saying regressing, but like, he's saying how many times I start over, I can't find an answer I'm looking for. So there's like... Nice little ways to kind of like imply that you've done this shit before without the witch's hand just fucking gripping your heart. Promise? Yo, we're back on the Ram route. I knew Ram should have fucking showed her. Ram, you're fucking missing out. Now Ram is taking over. After this arc, Ram might be way better than Ram. Alright, we're bonding now. <laughs> yes, you can ask without like torturing us. I promise I'll answer. You do not have to torture us this time though. <laughs> Do you like Bye-bye.
Well, it's just a stupid ball dog, but like, I don't think it's gonna retain a ball dog for- it's a, If it's a witch fiend, it's probably got a different fucking form, but it'd be hilarious if you lost it a small puppy. And also, I wonder if the witch fiends can smell him. I wanna- I, I- I- The stench of the witches is still such an obscure thing to me that just gets stronger with each regression and it's supposed to, you know, symbolize Satala's love or favoritism for Subaru, but like, can the witch fiends also smell it? Is that the girl? Oh, I see the girl's feet. It is that girl again with the dead mom braid hair to the side. She got cursed. Ball dog. Ball dog. Yeah, that that is not the same cute puppy that I remember, bro. You gotta fight this. So it was a trap. Damn, he's gonna fucking fist fight it? He gonna fucking- He just wrapped the jacket around his fist? Okay, I mean... It was genuinely impressive how he held off Rem that episode. The, the maze, he caught that with this jacket that he fucking threw her to the side. Like, Subaru is- And like, even like the Elsa arc? He was Jackie Chan! I'm not even, like, exaggerating the shit he was doing, just kicking tables, the hand that coordination, so, like, maybe he can't fight this. Psych? Dude. A kid, it just blows my mind. I cannot comprehend how just how much of a fucking elite athlete he is. Just this neat, just do it this shit. I know he worked out. I know he does the 70 kilogram grip strength. I understand that. But still, man, this might be the most physically abled bodied like uh, Isekai need I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> That's a lie. Because in Cautious Hero, well, he's not a neat, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> There's gonna be like 10 more of these motherfuckers now, isn't there? <laughs> Alright, we need Rem. <laughs> we need Rem, bro. Can Roswell show up? Can Roswell show up for a bit? Like, fuck, is Reinhardt around? Like, <laughs> I don't think we can do this guy. Let's <laughs> take the kid and run, but how? Rem? Ram. Emilia? Roswell? No, oh, he's gone. Reinhardt would be cool. I'm gonna say Rem because she's nearby. What? What was that? Mace. Rem. Let's go, Rem. Nice timing. <laughs> yeah, she's strong. PTSD. <laughs> Sees the fucking lopped off head. PTSD. <laughs> Yeah, she is. Dude, it just evaporates. It straight up just fucking evaporates, man. Maybe? That's not good news. I am genuinely amazed at the usage of their CGI or lack thereof during these dark moments. Right here was one of the few moments where they actually use CGI during the dark moments. Anytime these modern animes show up, whenever it gets dark, they love to fucking put CGI there, trying to min-max the resources and hope that the audience doesn't find out. But right after, everything is still 2D. It's just like ReZero animation back in 2016. White Fox is fucking cooking. I think this is CGI here right now. But again, the CGI has never been intrusive or ruined my immersion. <laughs> Okay, cross the barrier. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it, you idiot. Yo, why would you... She's a strong girl. Ah, she's not a regular human, bro. She an Oni. No, no, no. She can take this. It's looking kind of rough, though. 
No, that's not even her blood, bro. That's the fucking dog's blood. No, no, no. I don't even. I refuse to believe this is Rem's blood. She's not even injured. <laughs> it's, it's the blood of her enemies right now. <laughs> I thought that the dog, the ball dog, was the first dog that we saw that Subaru killed. It's actually here. It's glowing. You can't make this shit up. That ball dog is leading the fucking path. This shit's so stupid and silly, dude. The ball dog. Yo, landslide, landslide. That's a, that's a, no, no, she an Oni, guys. No, no, believe in Rem. She an Oni. She's not a human. She can take some hits. Just walk it off. Just, just walk it off. And if she's dead, we gotta restart. And if she's dead, imagine a situation like this, right? And I doubt it's gonna happen in this run because it's too early to introduce stuff like this in regression. But like, what happens potentially if she's dead here? but the checkpoint has already been established. Or if she's dead here and we still overcome this challenge and a checkpoint gets established, that is literally irreversible. Like you cannot go back. As much as three chances, infinite chances we have with this regression power, once you have gone past that and set a new checkpoint, you can't just, you know? Like I doubt Rem is dead here, but that would be crazy if they did something like that. <laughs> Come on, girl, walk it off. Walk it off, girl, it's fine. The chain. See? She's just walking it off, but uh... It's a new soundtrack playing right now. I think I've heard this versus Elsa, actually. Oni. Oni. Oni horn. <laughs> what is this shit? Base 2? Why is she going crazy? <laughs> is she in control? Cause I think she's more scarier than the fucking witch fiends right now <laughs> Demonically possessed The horn got deactivated. I feel like she could have still been fine there. I don't know. Would she have died here if the dog saying, I feel like in this berserk mode, she would have handled that shit. I'm not sure. Okay, he saves her, kind of. The horn's gone. Subaru is now dead. Bro. I mean, maybe that was necessary maybe she would have died maybe this is super clutch i'm just under the assumption that like she was in this like horn like berserk mode that's why she would have reacted and done better and this is unnecessary but maybe i'm wrong maybe this is clutch on subaru Dude, are you serious are you serious are you serious right now are you about to fucking reset <laughs> How every time an episode ends with like a death potential. Oh, please don't let me die. Oh, please don't let me die. You fucking troll. That's today's episode of ReZero, man. Fuck. It was going so well. Straight up, everything was perfect. And then there's this, I guess, this moment of... What's the word? Complacency? While Rem is distracted and high off of the battle and the thrill that Subaru, you know, basically goes in there and jumps in to save Rem. I don't know if it was necessary, but maybe this is super clutch. And the bites that was happening, it didn't really seem lethal, right? It's not like his fucking head got chopped off. It's the limbs, and Rem did get there in close in time, but... <sighs> Imagine he fucking restarts here. That would suck. But hey, it doesn't matter. Because even if that happens, I think he will be more determined. Because now we even have more intel. We've confirmed that the Baldi is the shaman. That's fucking crazy. Dude, this scene where the fucking bald dog showed up and cool. <laughs> this shit's so stupid.
stupid. It's so silly, but it is. It's fucking Chloe. <laughs> I mean, I was paying very, very, uh, I was very locked in. And the dog bite was one of the most consistent things either happening or not happening throughout all the runs. So it was it at the end of the day. Aside from that, this run is looking really good. Not only have we uncovered the mysteries of the shaman, but Roswell also, you know, went for somewhere else. Now, that just basically confirms that we're not just, you know, looping and going into this cycle of failed runs. It's like a, do a different timeline, a different possibility has opened. Now, I don't know where he's going. His argument was, I gotta go deal with someone I don't like. It's gonna be a hassle. Goodbye. And he flies away. Pretty fucking sick. But would it be nice to have... Is, is, is Roswell literally gone to nerf him right now? Like, straight up. Is Roswell literally gone so that he can't help out with the fucking village shit? Because, like, if he was here, the strongest magician, bro, just drop the fucking nukes on these fucking dogs. Just, it's fucking over. But I don't know. For whatever plot purposes, Roswell's gone. Rem and Subaru. They made a lot of progress today, right? We're still a little bit flinching, right? We are, we are triggered by the sound of the chain because, listen, it got me too. However, she's an ally and we're getting closer and closer and we even made a pinky promise together. And Rem, I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Basically, it looked like she got unconscious, some sort of phase two berserk mode. Her Oni horn shows up and I wonder if Ram can do this too, right? And then she just goes in this crazy battle mode. Power scaling wise, I wonder if this Berserk Rem could beat... I can't say Reinhardt, because I doubt anyone can. But, um... Like, what about Elsa, right? Berserk Rem right now versus Elsa the Battle Hunter. Wonder what the relative power scaling is. It would be nice to be able to appreciate exactly how strong Rem is in this current moment. But hey, that's beyond me. And maybe some of you light novel readers know. And that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.